okay, now that we've made the ratchet, let's use the same process, the same 3D modeling process uh, to make something else. Let's make the square column uh, part. So we're going to start the same way we did before. We're going to go up to Onshape, say Create. And I'm going to create a document because I'm already in the correct folder where I want to put it. And we're just going to call this square column. We're going to say OK. Now if you take a look at the dimensions on this part, um, the dimensions on this part are already in inches. So let's just go and check our workspace units and make sure that we're in inch, okay? Because the last one we did, we were using metric. So this one's in inches, we're all set. Green check, we're ready to go. Um, so this part that we're gonna make today, um, it's really pretty simple. Uh, there are going to be three sketches, three extrusions, and then some features. So let's try it, okay? So I'm going to start with a sketch on the front view. And then I'm going to turn off my planes so it kind of makes it so I can see it easier and I'm going to start with a circle and that circle I can make it once I see the number in the white box after I click on my circle I can make it the right diameter and the diameter for this is 1.25 so I'm going to type 1.25 and then I'm going to hit the enter key and it makes it exactly 1.25 inches and then once we have it the right size Let's say, okay, we're done with our sketch and let's go straight to extruding it. We'll click on extrude. We'll pick what we want to extrude and we'll see that we, let's start with the bottom and we want to make that 0.5. So we're going to make that a half of an inch out rather than one inch. So I'm going to go blind um, 0.5. That allows us to put a depth. Type enter and there's the base. Okay, so that's going to be the base of our column. So then we've got, we've just done a sketch. We've constrained it and we've added material. Now we're going to do the same thing. We're going to sketch. We're going to put a sketch on there. We're going to make a square. We're going to use the center point rectangle. Make sure we click on the center, hover, and you'll get it. Click, and now we can type in the sizes that we want. We take a look at our dimension drawing. The dimension drawing shows that that part is half an inch by half an inch. 0.5, enter, 0.5. It's weird because in Inventor um, it's tab, 0.5 tab 0.5. In Onshape it's 0.5, enter 0.5. Don't forget that. Once we have our square in place, we can say we're done with our sketch. So let's go right to extrude, pick just the square, tell it how far to extrude it. We take a look at our drawing. It looks like it is, let's make it two inches. And there we go. Once we've got our extrude done, we don't want to do um, any treatments yet yeah, we're gonna say okay and now let's put another sketch right on the end of this it's going to be a circle it's going to be on the center of that and again we click and it's going to be 1.25 type it in hit enter finish our sketch extrude pick oh we make sure that you pick everything right so I'm going to try that again. I'm going to pick extrude and I'm going to make sure I click on the inside and the outside. So I get both of them. Don't forget both pieces. And I want that to be 0 0.25, 0 0.25. So I'm going to make the depth 0 0.25. And there we go. There's our, our column, right? We can look at it. And we can see if we have to add anything to it. Oh, don't forget, we have one more thing we have to do. Let's look for treatments. Do we have any fillets, chamfers, or holes to do? Um, we do. We actually have some holes that we can put on there. And let's do it. So if I want to put some holes, I'm going to do a sketch on this surface. And I'm going to make a circle. 
And if I go to my, where I want to sketch it, I go from the bottom, and if I hover, you see how I get the square? That makes it so that I'm dead on in the center, right? So there's a constraint. The size of that hole is 0.25. And the only other thing that I have to tell it is where is that hole. So the dimension from here to here has to be 0.5. Enter. Okay, there's my first hole. Um, I have two more to do, so let's do them all at the same time. And let's see if we can do this. Let's, do a, let's try a linear pattern. Let's take this geometry. So I clicked on linear pattern. Click on this particular... Let's just click on Linear Pattern, click on the thing that we want, pick the direction, and tell them how far apart they have to be, 0.5, double click. And how many we want? One, two, three. They're all 0.5 apart, if I'm correct. Yes, sir. Left click like it says. Finish my sketch. There we go. We've got all three parts. So let's do this now. Let's extrude. And this time we're going to do a remove. And we're going to remove, instead of blind, we're going to say through all. So by saying remove through all, when I click on this circle, this circle, and this circle, and say OK, it's going to cut them out all the way through. And now we're good to go. Um, do you see any mistakes? I do. I see that it's half an inch from here to here, but this is too much here. It's almost half an inch there. Um, how far is it from there to there? I can choose the measure tool and I can choose from here to here and see what the distance is. And it says the distance is 0.376. That's not at all what it's supposed to be. 375683, some random number. Um, so that's no good. Um, so where do we go wrong? The question is where do we go wrong? And the answer to that question is I measured this extrusion incorrectly from my drawing. So let's fix it. Let's go find it in my tree over here. Oh, there it is. It's extrusion 2. When I hover over it, it highlights. So if I right click on that and I say, do I want to edit the sketch or do I want to edit the extrusion? I actually want to edit the extrusion because I extruded it too far. So let's click on edit and that will allow me to change this to the right dimension. 1.75. Let's try that and say, okay. Now if we take a look at it, we take a look as our whole thing, 2.5 tall. Let's try it. Let's choose the measure tool and measure from here to here. And we get exactly 2.5 inches. Our part is now right. We've got the right dimensions. We've got the right sizes. We've got the holes in the right place. We're good to go. So once you know what the process is, and once you know that you sketch first, constrain, add or remove by extruding, um, there's some other things to do too, but this is just basic. And then you do your treatments, your holes, your fillets, and your chamfers, um, and you're all set.